What do you mean you're going to the promotion board next week? It's a good thing you're here because I'm going to help get you ready. Coming up. Hey, welcome to the channel, friends. As always, man, I'm stoked to see you. So I hear it all the time, too many times to be honest with you, is, hey, I just got last minute notice. I'm going to the promotion board. Oh my God, what do I do? The sky is falling. We got to do something time now. So I'm going to do everything I can here in just a few short minutes to put everything that you realistically need in your kit bag to start getting ready. And hey, I'm going to put you on notice. If nobody's told you, you're going to the promotion board. You're going to the competition board. Start getting ready right now. Stop putting it off on your NCOs and your leaders saying that you all, you didn't have enough notice. I'm putting you on notice right, right now. Right now, I'm putting you on notice. So here's what you need to do. And, and this is the bottom line up front. The army goes rolling along. So you need to put everything in your kit bag now to start getting ready for tomorrow. So the first things first is get a copy of the MOI. Your battle buddies have it, your NCOs have it, your S1 has it, your first sergeant have it. We all have it. It's not a secret. Just ask for a copy of it because in your battalion, it's not going to change. And truth be told, your battalion's MOI is probably almost identical to mine. Same subject areas. All ADPs, man. So you're going get, to get a copy of this thing and start making some 3x5 cards. But also, do yourself a favor and open up the book and start reading what it is that's in here. Get a little uh, context, if you will. Understand what it is that you're studying on your 3x5 cards. But take a subject area and then take two or three questions from the subject area. Now, if you go to ADP Study Guide, if you take like the top 10 questions, odds are these are probably the top 10 questions that you're going to get asked as it relates to that subject area. So I'm not telling you what to do, but if it was me, I would take the top three questions out of the subject area, not counting what is the AR. That, that's a given. You need to know what that is or what is the ADP or, or what is that regulation. But take the top three and make three three by five cards. And do that for all the subject areas that you have in your MOI. Now you have maybe 30 three by five cards. And now that you can regurgitate. You can, you can get that sunk into your brain housing group. Every night, just spend 15, 20 minutes. And once you got all three and all areas, now add a couple more into the pile. Make sure you're saying these words out loud and not just in your head. You have to say them out loud. Now that, that it's, it, it's steady component area number one. Area number two uh, is what I, I spend the majority of my time with when it comes to coaching soldiers and NCOs to, to go up here before a board. And it's what I call the two minute drill. And that two minute drill is that first few minutes it may take more than two minutes. It's not a big deal, but just listen to me. It's that first few minutes from the time you knock on the door until after you sit down and start answering questions. Your uniform, your reporting procedures, how you speak, how you give your bio, how you conduct your facing movements, how you say the creed of the non-commissioned officer and the soldier's creed. This is truthfully where you need to spend 80% of your time. Get this fraction down 100%, 100%, and spend the other 20, 30, 40%, whatever it is, is uh, on, those, on those few questions. Write your bio and then start saying it out loud, and then rewrite it. Look in the mirror and say your bio. Get it verbatim inside your head. You should be able to say your biography the exact same way, with the exact same conviction, as you do the Soldier's Creed or the Creed of the Non-Commissioned Officer. Make sure you know your unit history. Know something tangible. Be able to say two minutes about your unit, about where they were constituted. All you're doing is you're just telling a story, right? All right you're constituted on this date. You've served through these major uh, battles and wars and campaigns. Decorated for doing X, Y, and Z. Your crest looks like this. Your motto is that. Once you can put that into a small story, even if it's just start off with two or three sentences and put them together so that you can speak them. And that way when your CSM starts asking you questions, man, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. But I'm telling you, man, so much of your time really needs to be on this first few minutes. 
And this is all stuff that you can do by yourself. You don't need somebody to conduct a mock board. It's great if somebody does, right? But the truth is you can do a lot on your own starting right now. Even if you just got promoted to specialist, man, you need to start looking forward and doing everything you need to do now to get ready because your time is coming. How many skill port hours do you have done? How many correspondence hours do you have done? Ma max them out, baby. What are you waiting for? What are you doing this weekend? Cupcake and a lollipopping? Man, just mash out a couple classes. What's your PT score? Yeah, I got it, man. Things are changing. But are you getting out there hustling? So that when it all sorts out, you can get out there and max? Get close to maxing? How well do you shoot? Mm. Man, there's a lot of stuff that's in, that's in your control. It really is. Are you volunteering to go to schools? Are you volunteering for additional duties that would require you to get to a school? Ha! So you thought that maybe you had no control over even getting to schools. But if you volunteer for an additional duty that requires a certification, boom, guess what you're going to do? You're going to go to a school. Maybe it's an 80-hour class. It's a couple more promotion points right there in it. Sure enough is. Right, so there's just a few things you can put in your kit bag right now to start getting ready. Make yourself uh, a binder, make yourself some three by five cards, get a copy of that MOI, and do this other thing too, right? Go out and start talking to some subject matter experts. Right, maybe if you're looking at 600-20, maybe you wanna go and sit down and just make an appointment and talk to your uh, EOL or your EOA. Talk to your VA or your SARC when it comes to SHARC issues. Talk to your NCO Sport Channel and your chain of command and say, what are some things, what are some experiences that you can share that you can tell me that you'll put into my kit bag on, on some lessons learned, some actual studies, some things that maybe somebody should have done a little bit differently or some good things that people did to help soldiers in situations. That way when it comes to my, being my turn, hope it doesn't ever happen. But if it does come down and it's my turn, what are some things that I can do to help take care of soldiers, because that's what it's all about. It's taking care of those who are in our charge. It's not necessarily about being able to, to regurgitate words. We're looking for confidence from you that you can handle life scenarios, because it happens to all of us. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you can stay up to date on some future content. As always, until then, man, y'all stay out there and you keep grinding.